This is for the Bull Armory SAS2 3.25. I've had to change the design from this to this, primarily because inside, I'm not sure if the light's going to catch this, you can see how the, the top of the slide is catching and on the stitching there. And as a result, it's going to blow out. So while this is a good design, it's not a smooth draw. Whereas this, when I put the stitching on the front like a, a traditional pancake, what that does is it puts where it catches, it catches right here. Let me move this out of the way. Right there. It's risen up just a little. But because of this cutout here, that's why it catches. So I can, it goes in smoothly. But when you draw it, it catches on that top stitch right there. Now if I tilt it backwards, it draws smoothly. But I can't guarantee that when somebody draws their pistol, they're going to be drawing it backwards like this. Not if you if if it can't forward, it's going to catch. If it's tilted this way, it won't. And eventually, like I say, I don't want to be having the holster sent back uh, to replace all that stitching there where it's dragging. So in thinking about it, I, I came up with this because it, this is essentially a sight channel right there, but there is no stitching on either side either. There's no stitching right here. Or on the front, there's just a, a gap in that hole right there. So that it's never going to catch. There's nothing to catch on. You can see the sight going down there. It's smooth. The only difference in these two designs, I mean, this is, this is really bomber. It's, it's well made. Not a question about that. But the inherent problem with a pancake that is flat, when both top, the top piece and the bottom piece are the same size, is that inside your pants it flattens out. That's the inherent problem. And everybody and their brother tries to get around that. Everybody copies me and my holsters. Okay, you see, this top piece is larger than the bottom piece, which allows for this bend. So when I put my support strap on, it contours to the bend. I stitch it for the bend. I don't stitch it flat. That's where all these other companies out there, they stitch it flat. The whole purpose of the support strap is to hold it open right there in the bend and to support the opening. But if you stitch it flat, then it's gonna flatten out like a pancake. And so that's why people water mold it. They try to do all sorts of crap, to, uh, ways to try and create an opening, but you can't do it because both sides are the same. Whereas mine, your top piece is larger and the support strap supports the opening. But you can't do that with this design, this pancake, with the stitching even, but yet this creates not only a sight channel, but it also allows for nothing to catch on. 
So, and it's, I mean, it's a nice fit, but isn't there's not going to be a quick redraw, uh, you know, like a, a lot of people like to do. They, you know, they draw and they 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 shoot and they want to reholster, you know, draw shoot a whole bunch and then reholster and then quick draw. It's not going to work. Maybe it eventually will. The leather will stretch out in this opening. I left this tall at the top so that eventually it will allow for the opening and where the placement of the clip is uh, just uh, right at the junction, just above the junction. Uh, this is going to allow for uh, an easier reholster once the leather uh, stretches to fit. I added a, a generous support strap there, not just the top. See, typically my support strap holds open because of the location of the clip. This holds open the opening. This is my own design. All, all this is my own design, uh, but I do it all by hand and I, it allows me uh, to maintain this opening and support around the optic cutout. Anyway, I thought I'd make a video just to show customers uh, essentially uh, the inherent problems with uh, the Bull Armory cutout here. And it, it's going to catch. And uh, people who don't carry or people who are clueless aren't going to know that. And they're going to make holsters that are going to drag. But I'm trying to get around that and, and make a nice design that'll work, that'll be functional.